morning everyone. Uh, today we are winging it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the movie Antebellum. Uh, Antebellum is a 2020 horror film uh, about a uh, sort of set in two time periods, modern day and um, the Antebellum period. Um, so it follows a uh, lady who, um, I don't remember who her name is, uh, it probably appears in the bottom here, probably a nice photo there. <laughs> um, she plays um, uh, Eden uh, in the antebellum period, a uh, slave working for a, um, or I guess enslaved to a very vicious uh, slave owner, and in the present day she is a uh, popular author who uh, studies um, like African American theory uh, and culture, and uh, I think that's probably as much information I should I should give because any more would be spoiler territory. Um, this was a pretty interesting film, um, not a particularly scary one by any means. Uh, but it was somewhat enjoyable. Um, it's, how, it's it's so hard to explain this movie without giving away like any twists or spoilers or anything like that. But uh, it's good but not great. It's somewhat forgettable. It's sort of a horror film uh, about the African American community. Um, you know, similar to, with, with like lots of heavy themes specific to uh, African Americans like the movie Get Out, um, you know, like say Candyman, um, but it doesn't have the thrills of that film. It's more like trying to be more horrific than, more of a horror than like 12 Years a Slave, but I feel like 12 Years a Slave was more scary because of how realistic this was. This movie has a twist, minor spoiler, and the twist sort of comes off as really goofy, and when you think about it more and more, you just have to, you realise how ridiculous it is and how unrealistic it could possibly be, uh, to the point where it actually undermines its message itself. Um, it's a fun film, but... It tries to do things similar that other films like, say, Candyman, where it's a horror film, supernatural horror film, that does have distinct black issues. Um, but with Candyman, it's sort of, those issues are sort of intertwined, or at least placed as a background. Yeah, it's placed as a background. Um, but this one is sort of intertwined, but it's the, the twist could be seen as so ridiculous and so um, unrealistic that it, uh, yeah, undermines the integrity and the message and themes of what it was trying to convey. Um, so it's still enjoyable, but you know, it's not in the movies anymore. So you know, just go and watch it if it's like shows up on Netflix or. Or, like, if it's cheap. Um, yeah, I mean, I have to think, like, as a Caucasian Australian who really doesn't know the, the deepest issues of those communities, though I do want to know, it, as a white person, it didn't really teach me anything. Um, it didn't have enough core or heart to really do anything uh, to impact me um, and though it's its aim may not be for myself this is how this movie affects myself and that's purely my opinion if it's aiming to reach out to the african-american community uh, i hope it does reach that community um, i don't know if i if that's such a statement is controversial or not. <laughs> but uh, as a Caucasian, I do want to be better. Uh, I know that, yeah, even though it might not have been like my family or ancestors uh, per se that may have, 
caused such issues in the past, such extreme issues. I know that I still benefit from white privilege and knowing enough Aboriginals, it's just even knowing anyone who isn't white in Australia, like I, I can clearly see my privilege compared to others. I face, they face troubles that I specifically wouldn't in Australia. Um, yeah, hopefully I didn't offend anyone, <laughs> but um, I personally want to do better. But that's enough about myself, let's make it about the movie. Um, yeah, I think the movie was okay. Uh, it's definitely interesting, it's definitely like something that, yeah, you don't need to watch. I think that's something that, you know, you can definitely check it out and you'll have a good time. Um, you know, I, I could see that this could be quite a polarizing film as well. I think it, in Rotten Tomatoes, it's somewhat polarizing, or maybe it's under 50%. Um, yeah, it sort of splits people down 50-50. I'm probably more on the negative side, but it's still, I can see why people would like it as well. Alright, uh, thanks guys, that was me winging it, and Andabellum. See ya.